Shanley pump and equipment. Same pumps. The PXF and 3LS series of highly efficient three rotor screw pumps from Same and Shanley Pump are designed for pumping lubricating fluids, fuel oil, chemicals, and machine tool coolant. Both mechanically and volumetrically, the use of screw pumps results in fluids that are pumped more efficiently and with less operating costs and energy consumption needs than other pump types. Common applications include gas turbines, compressors, gearboxes, and wind turbines. Screw pumps are as well notable for their continual and popular use in both fuel transfer pumping applications and chemical refinery operations. Because there is no metal-to-metal -metal contact on a three-rotor screw pump, it is extremely quiet in operation while offering a long and reliable service life. At Shanley Pump, we stock new and replacement pumps and parts for all same PXF and Shanley 3LS models of screw pumps for same-day shipment. Contact us at www.shanleypump.com or call 847-439-9200. This is an instructional disassembly and assembly video for the same PXF and Shanley 3LS 3-rotor screw pump. Before starting the disassembly of your PXF or 3LS series pump, if you have any questions, we recommend that you contact the Shanley Pump sales engineer for an immediate response. If the pump has been in service, we recommend that you have drained the pump of all pump mediums and have a sturdy workbench on which to work. Tools required for the same PXF or 3LS 3-rotor pump, small snap ring pliers, a metric Allen wrench set, a pair of side cutters, a small flat-bladed screwdriver, and an arbor or hydraulic press. Disassembly. Be advised that bolt sizes may vary depending on your pump size. You can mount the pump to a workbench or secure it in a vise. Begin by removing any inlet attachments. This pump has four bolts connecting the suction connection to the pump body that can be removed with an Allen wrench. Next, remove the suction connection O-ring. Reorient the pump and the vise if necessary and remove the two safety relief valve bolts using an Allen wrench. Remove the key from the keyway by using a pair of side cutters. Using an Allen wrench, remove the two mechanical seal cover bolts and remove the mechanical seal cover, slipping it carefully off of the shaft. Use a small flat-bladed screwdriver to remove the O-ring from the groove in the mechanical seal cover. Next, remove the mechanical seal O-ring and stationary face from inside the cover. Remove the pump from the vise and stand it vertically on a workbench. To remove the spring portion of the mechanical seal, hold the spindle end of the drive shaft and turn the mechanical seal while pulling it off of the drive shaft. Depending on your version of the pump, turning the spring one direction will tighten the spring, while turning the opposite direction will loosen it from the shaft. Use an Allen wrench to remove the four connection flange bolts from the pump body.
Remove the connection flange. Remove the O-ring from the groove in the top of the pump casing using a small flat bladed screwdriver. If your pump uses a seal spacer, remove it from the drive shaft. Hold the drive shaft firmly and lift the spindle assembly out of the pump body. Set the spindle assembly vertically on a workbench and remove the two free rotors. Remove the snap ring with a pair of small snap ring pliers. Place the drive shaft and bearing in a press. Keep pressure on the inner race of the bearing as you press the drive shaft all of the way out. The same PXF or Shanley 3LS 3 rotor screw pump is now completely disassembled. Pump assembly. Set the driving spindle on a workbench with the keyway facing up. Mount the bearing to prepare it for installation. Place the spindle and bearing into a press and press the drive shaft all the way until the bearing is seated. Make sure only to put pressure on the inner race of the bearing to keep from damaging it. Put the spindle and bearing back on the workbench and install the snap ring using a small pair of snap ring pliers. Install the seal spacer if your pump uses one. Install the spring and rotating seal face of the mechanical seal onto your drive shaft. Depending on your version of the pump, twisting one direction will tighten the spring while twisting the other will loosen it and make it easier to install. Install the two idler rotors onto opposite sides of the drive spindle. Make sure that the guide in the drive spindle aligns with the grooves on the rotors. Lubricate the inside of the pump body and carefully install the spindle assembly into the pump casing. It should slip easily into the casing and turn freely. Lubricate and install the O-ring onto the pump casing. Mount the connection flange. Secure the connection flange to the pump body with four bolts and tighten in an alternating pattern using an Allen wrench. Take care not to damage or misplace the casing O-ring. Lubricate and install the casing O-ring into the mechanical seal cover. Lubricate the shaft O-ring and stationary face of the mechanical seal and install it into the seal cover as well.
Install the mechanical seal cover with the inspection set screw facing the same direction as the pump outlet flange and secure the two bolts with an Allen wrench. Alternate tightening the bolts in order to make sure the cover is installed evenly and to avoid damaging the o-ring and mechanical seal. Install the key into the keyway making sure not to damage the key or drive shaft. Lubricate and install the suction connection o-ring onto the inlet attachment. Secure the pump in a vise to connect the attachments. Connect the inlet attachment using four bolts and tighten with an Allen wrench. Insert your pump safety relief valve and secure with two Allen wrench bolts. Your PXF or 3LS 3-rotor screw pump is now fully assembled. Check to make sure the pump turns freely. The pump should then be leak tested using water to check the shaft seal and casing o-rings for leakage before being reinstalled and put into service. If no leaks are present, the pump can now be reinstalled into the pump system. If you have any questions about or require spare parts for the repair of your same PXF or Shanley 3LS pump, please feel free to contact us for an immediate response at www.shanleypump.com or call 847-439-9200. We always have complete pumps and all spare parts in our inventory ready to ship the same day.